mother lives at the Shady Pines retirement home. Oh, the Shady Pines. I know the Shady Pines is a lovely place. It's a prison. <laughs> they lock us in our rooms and force us to look like we're having fun. <laughs> then they take pictures for their brochure. Ma, you know that's not true. <laughs> I was never a night person either, until I blossomed into young womanhood and realized I was even more devastating by moonlight. Of course. I will never forget the night I made that discovery. It was during the spring cotillion. I was wearing a long white dress and my first push-up bra. And Bobby Buck McAllister and I were enjoying a glass of punch out on the veranda when a beam of moonlight hit my cleavage. Suddenly, the band began to play. It was at that moment I realized my bosoms had the power to make music. Now then, Dorothy, uh, would you say you are a very neat person? Oh, yes. Very, very neat. Please, you're neat and I wear a D-cup. <laughs> oh, I never should have watched it either. It always upsets me, especially that shower scene. Oh. But it's the reason I prefer not to shower alone. <laughs> sure, Blanche. And Goldilocks and the Three Bears is why you prefer not to sleep alone. My brilliant daughter scalped the tickets to an undercover policeman. Ma, oh, get off my back, huh? You're lucky I was with you. You'd still be in the slammer if I hadn't faked that heart attack. <laughs> my life will be ruined if this ever gets home to St. Olaf. What'll they do, Rose? Revoke your ice fishing license? <laughs> Take back your helmet with the horns? <laughs> I mean, I'm the injured party. Obviously, I'm destined to never see Frank Sinatra face to face. They're called long and herding. <laughs> What is called long and herding? The helmet with the horns. Why, for two sets of whip girls? Got some whipped cream. Mm. Mm. I think we still have a can. I'll get it. It's in my bedroom. Never mind, Blanche. <laughs> Perfect after dinner treat. A nice dish of jello. I hate jello. <laughs> if God wanted peaches suspended in midair, he would have filled them with helium. <laughs> What? Beat it, Rose. I'm busy. What are you doing? It's Tuesday night. I'm cleaning out my purse. <laughs> Did all that stuff come out of your purse? No, I was also cleaning out my ears. That's where the phenomenon and the rain bonnet came from. <laughs> Sophia, why are you in such a bad mood? Forgive me, Rose, but I haven't had sex in 15 years and it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Devastated, just devastated. Honey, what happened? I asked my teacher for help like you all told me to. He said the only way I would get an A on his final is if I sleep with him. No. Oh, yes. I just don't know what to do. Get it in writing. <laughs> Nils Vielander attempted to harass me repeatedly. What do you mean he attempted to? He worked at Lars Erickson's drugstore and tackle shop. He was a soda jerk. Now that I think about it, he was the town jerk. <laughs> Every Saturday afternoon, I'd go in and have a Sunday. Well, Nils would arrange the ice cream scoops in an obscene way. <laughs> because by the time I would take it home to show my father... The... <laughs> the evidence had melted. melted. <laughs> to this day, every time I pass a, an ice cream parlor or a tackle shop, I blush. <laughs> We're bad. Okay. <laughs> Peterson, after we saw Psycho at the home, they had said he would never walk again. 
he walked. <laughs> well, good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Only first, I think, as a reward for working so hard, I'll make myself an ice cream sundae. Oh, uh, Rose, I suggest you leave the room. I may get a little crazy with the chopped nuts. <laughs> oh, your house is just breathtaking. I know. You said it looked like a dump from the outside. <laughs> Those are very nice cantaloupes. Why, well, thank you. <laughs> so, Big Shot, did you get the tickets? Can't you say hello first? Hello, Big Shot, did you get the tickets? <laughs> yeah, this one's right. And how do you tell, Dorothy? Well, you smell the tip of it. It's an old Sicilian method my mother taught me. Oh, Dorothy, dear. The best way to tell if a melon is ripe is southern. You thump it. Uh, well, actually, Rumi's, uh, I have the best method, the farm method. It works every time. And what might that be, Rose, dear? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> better. <laughs> Honey, won't that take an awful long time? Oh, I don't mind. I'm a very patient person. <laughs> I once waited two whole weeks for a sty to go away. Every night I'd close my eyes and I'd picture it getting smaller and smaller. And one morning I woke up and it was gone. <laughs> Ma, are you okay? Fine, I'm just trying to make Rose go away. Tails, you oh. win. I'll make it up to you, Dorothy, I promise. <laughs> Listen, if there's ever a night where you can't sleep, I'll come to your room and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> Rose, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> don't ever do that.